Hello everybody, this is FC7 and Misty2001 and today we have another recipe for our YouTube channel here and this is beef and broccoli stir fry and wanna, the slow cooker. And the slow cooker. You want to tell us more about it? Yep, uh, you're going to want to marinate it in low sodium soy sauce and about a tablespoon of minced garlic overnight in a Ziploc bag. Cook it on low for six hours. Sounds good. And here come the ingredients. So we used organic broccoli, cornstarch, beef broth, low sodium soy sauce, sesame oil, minced garlic, and of course a cup of water, which is about two tablespoons for the cornstarch slurry. Okay. So here we go. So I used a slow cooker liner to help with cleanup. Those are always handy. Yes. So you want to drain your marinade off of your beef, which you see me doing here. Just use a regular strainer for that? Yeah. yeah. So after you drain off the marinade, you're going to want to wash your produce really well because there's a lot of nasties on it. Um, Is that cold water or hot water? Cold water. Okay. Always do it in cold water. Okay. Uh, not exactly sure why, but that's what I was always told. So after you wash your produce, you're going to want to cut off the very, very, like the ends of it, like the top parts, the stuff that looks like a tree. So what size should you cut these up as? Bite size, maybe a little bit bigger. Okay. So you do about three of these? Yeah. And then just maybe, a, maybe a medium, medium head of broccoli. Okay. So then this is you adding the... Um... Marinated beef. Okay. So then after you add the marinated beef, you're going to want to add your broccoli. You can do it either way. You can add the broccoli first or you can add the beef first. It doesn't really matter. Hey, speaking of which, did you know that you can also use frozen broccoli for this recipe? Oh, that's interesting. Is there a time difference on it? Not that I know of. Um... I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to create another video to yeah, check it out. Yeah. Okay, after that you'd use about a half of a 10 ounce can of beef broth, add about two cups of your low sodium soy sauce. You just poured it in there though without measuring it? Is that yeah, there was, there was approximately two. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then what's this? That is your sesame oil. Okay. And I had about two tablespoons in the bottle, so that's your minced garlic. You can add as much or as little as you want. Um, you've already marinated your beef in the, the minced garlic, so if you want more garlic, you can add it. If so, not, so don't add like it. So you like garlicky then? I do. Oh, okay. This is a good recipe. I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then you're stirring it all up? Yep, stir it all up. Make sure everything's good and coated. Is the liner pretty sturdy? You won't cut a hole in it? Nope, it, it, no. it won't cut a hole in it. Okay. Unless you're like... Jabbing at it? Really jabbing at it. Yeah, <laughs> then you might uh, put a hole in it. So what I did is I put two tablespoons of water in a glass and mixed a tablespoon or two of cornstarch in with that to make a cornstarch slurry. So this is so it's not watery when it comes up. Yeah. No. Um, this will actually thicken it up. Okay. Then set the timer. So then you put the lid on afterward. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you're going to want to cook it for six hours on low there we go. Put it on low. And now we're going to do a time jump to six hours later right now. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, this is it six hours later. So I made some rice to go along with it, but if you're doing true keto or low carb, you don't have to do rice. Or um, I have actually found that riced cauliflower works really well, too. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm. This stuff's good if you're on a low carb diet. Yep, low carb or keto. 
So as you can see, this is what the end result looks like. Can you just put it over rice? Yep. You just put it over rice, you know, as much or as little as you want. So the broccoli probably softened up a lot. A little bit, yeah, but there, it is still tender crisp. So then I added one of my favorite toppings, toasted sesame seeds. And that is it, right? Yep. There will be another video following this one of how to toast sesame seeds. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, please leave a thumbs up if you like the video. And by all means, please like and subscribe.